New here at 9, the national manhunt for the third and final suspect in the killing of seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams has come to an end. And WGN Shannon Halligan has the details there live from our newsroom. Shannon? For the past three months, authorities had been searching for the last suspect involved in the seven-year-old's murder. Today, investigators confirmed he was arrested here in Chicago, bringing some relief for the young girl's family. Seven-year-old Jaslyn Adams was in the McDonald's drive-thru with her father on April 18th. That's when investigators say three suspects fired multiple rounds into the car on the city's west side, killing the seven-year-old. Jaslyn's grandmother, Lawanda McMullen, worried police wouldn't be able to track down her killers. When it first happened, yeah, I was like, you know, she's just going to be another case on the shelf. But like I said, when they caught the first two, I was, I was pretty hopeful that they were going to catch the, the third one. Days after the murder, 18-year-old Marion Lewis led police on a chase which ended on the Eisenhower Expressway. Prosecutors say Lewis was driving the vehicle that Anderson and Gowdy used to fire at Jaslyn and her father. Investigators also tracked down 21-year-old Demond Gowdy, who prosecutors say fired several shots at the car. But for the past three months, though, and a $25,000 reward, the search for the final suspect, 22-year-old Devontae Anderson, continued. It's a lot of things go through your head when someone, when the suspect is still on the run. Finally, FBI investigators confirmed Anderson's arrest without incident Monday in Chicago, bringing some relief for the young girl's family that justice will be served. Keep pushing them, keep pushing them, keep pushing for Jasmine and all other little children that has been um, slain in the city of Chicago. Anderson had been previously charged with Jaslyn's first degree murder. The other two suspects are being held without bail. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Thank you, Shannon. Tonight we have